Now this next question comes in from Link Designs, who points out that the Pixel 3a that we reviewed a little bit earlier this week is getting some flack. He likens this to the same issues that uh, were brought up in regards to the Surface Go tablet, which I love quite a bit and I use all the time. Well, it turns out that the lower end Surface Go, the one that I have and the one that Linked has also, uh, is using eMMC storage, but the more expensive Surface Go tablet has faster uh, regular solid state M2 storage on board, or maybe an NVMe or something. And uh, he doesn't see much of a difference here on his devices, and that is exactly the same approach that I have taken in the review. Because when you look at a phone that is targeted at the general market, uh, I don't think most folks know or care what speed storage their device has. As long as it can take a picture and take a video every once in a while and not lock up or lag, I think they're going to be perfectly fine with it. And I share Link's opinion that on this Surface Go tablet, eMMC for me is just fine. I'm not capturing video on this thing. I'm not playing a lot of games on it. It is kind of like my go-to utilitarian uh, Windows device that boots up quickly. And I haven't had an issue with the slower storage speed. And I suspect most consumers don't either. And what I usually look at when I review a phone is what's the consumer looking for, the general consumer. Sure, the techies are going to want all the best and know exactly what is in the phone. But from the consumer experience, if the eMMC memory is not impacting the overall performance of what my mom or dad might do with the phone, it's not something that I think is worth spending a lot of time on because most consumers don't care about that. Does the computer boot up? Can I do my work on it? On this device? Absolutely. Can I take a picture on my phone? Yes, absolutely. And when you look at the price differences here between the regular Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3a, I think most consumers are going to be just fine, in fact more than most, uh, paying half the price that the flagship phone costs and they'll be getting a very good experience as a result. And that's the kind of thing that I try to focus on is what's the general consumer experience. And I'll leave it to the other folks out there who do great work focusing on a lot of the fine technical details because there are consumers out there that really want to know this stuff. But I found for me, uh, most people come to me for some practical advice and that is the direction that I like to take in my reviews. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.